As I returned to the resident in Marriott uh, in Los Angeles, California, 5933 West Century Boulevard, room 709. I'm on the amazing 5 by 12 matrix and it's magnetization property or affinity like property. And this magnetization property can be uh, described as uh, the ability to. Uh, attract itself to any matrices operation and it seeks relationship within any field, whether it be chemical engineering, engineering itself, electrical engineering, science, physics, maths. Having generated exponential amount of matrices in this uh, PDM process, this amazing 5 by 12 matrix uh, operation process. The magnanimous amount, the astronomical amount of matrices that were generated, uh, in itself has an, an attractive power as any matrices, matrices in the upper bound, whether it's uh, in uh, higher columns and row or lower columns and row. How we establish our 5 by 12 as our sort of a basic unit from which we step up or step down. And so a lot of other uh, operations were developed from this uh, magnetization property or finishing like property of the amazing 5 by 12 matrix. For example, uh, we take a uh, this matrix that was spotted, and so uh, the magnetization property of the meeting 5 by and 5 by 2 matrix came into a play. Now, this matrix is in a aeronautic and astronautic equation or micromechanical engineering. And it's in the unit 5 engineering mathematics. And we're going to uh, integrate this now into our amazing 5 by 12 matrix and see similarities and dissimilarities and establish new uh, dimensions to our amazing 5 by 12 matrix. All right, so let's start off with our engineering stress equation. And this is it, I spot this matrix and then let's start off with uh, the matrix itself first. Let's see now. Try to get the matrix itself first. Eh? All right. The matrix form. And then later on we describe what these epsilon one and gamma four and the other uh, parameter is what we mean, E1, E2, E3, E4, Epsilon 4, Epsilon 5, and Epsilon 6. Sigma 1 to E1, this is epsilon and this is E, minus V1 to sigma 2 over E1 minus V1 3 sigma 3 over E1 minus Greek letter N, new, one four sigma four over E one one five sigma five over E one minus 
one six sigma six. Notice we could take the image of the is common and put it out outside the, the, the matrices. And so this matrix was, was spotted and immediate the magnetization property of the amazing five-actual matrix uh, or the affinity-like property took effect. So uh, we have now minus B21 sigma Sigma two over B two B two three sigma three over B two and two three sigma three over B two and two four sigma four. Fours, sigma four, or e two. V three one, sigma one.
I noticed uh, the mention of this matrix uh, in this magnetization of the inlet bubble for moving 5 by 12 matrix. It's just an extension for 5 by 12 matrix. Uh, in some cases, it are uh, truncated, and in some cases, uh, well, in all cases, it's called where what's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rows and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 columns. So this is a square matrix here, yeah? 6 by 6, which is bigger uh, in both uh, rows and columns, but not much bigger, much bigger. And so by the power of the amazing fiber to it attracts itself and, and whatever is of interest is six relation. And so I look at the understanding of this engineering operation for this uh, general matrix are formed. And from this, what we had established now was that it is came from now in general um, e to the n equals 1 over e to the n. Summation m equals 1 to 6 v n m sigma n. And this was for an, uh, a fully an isotropic material. So we're going to have to do a lot of background reading now to find out what the epsilon, what the sigmas, what the e's, and what the nu's and the g's stand for in this uh, matrix operation, which is derived from the, the affinity-like property or the magnetization property of formation fiber and third matrix. And we have other boundary for this, uh, which, which was no note that V of n equals minus 1. N of s. V of s. And this for fully an isotropic material, which has no useful engineering material, uh, where no useful engineering material of this nature. I will move on now to the autotropic case for more general equation, which will be more interesting. And from this now, what we have is that in the uh, linear equation uh, mode, we have e epsilon 1 is equal to 1 over e1. This is now for the isotropic. This is a general form. where a lot of these terms are zero for the autotopic case. All right, so we will uh, explain some of this uh, general uh, matrix form, and the, which is an isotropic, and from the isotropic, which is a bridge, and is more simpler and more useful in engineering application, uh, which is the autotropic case. So let's take a break here at the resident in Marriott. We are on the amazing 5 by 12 matrix and its magnetization, our affinity like property. Uh, in developing other magical operation in other themes. <laughs>